Dr. Wells, thanks for joining us here on Health Connection. This is a topic we have not covered, dense breast tissue and breakthrough technology. UT Health Northeast now has ABUS, Automated Breast Ultrasound. It's the first FDA-approved technology in the early detection of breast cancer for women with dense breast tissue. What does it mean for women with dense breast tissue? Why, why, why is this a big deal? Well, it's a 3D technique, and it's a big deal because uh, there are, have been several studies that have shown without doubt that 3D automated breast ultrasound has detected small cancers that were not identifiable on mammography, primarily because of dense breast tissue. Um, a study by Rachel Brim et al. showed 1.9 more cancers per thousand women screened with negative mammograms than mammogram alone, uh, mammograms alone. Um, there was another study that showed between 2.3 and 4.6 more cancers per thousand women screened dense breast tissue um, as compared to mammogra mammography alone. So it's, it's a big, big deal. Is ABUS something used <coughs> instead of mammography or do you use them together? No, it's never used instead of mammography. Mammography is still the gold standard for detection of breast cancer. That it is a supplemental or adjunct modality. Let's talk about dense breast tissue. What is it and why do some women have it and some women don't? Well, dense fibroglandular tissue produces a whiteness on a mammogram, and that's what dense breast tissue is. It's fibroglandular tissue as opposed to fat tissue, which is the background in a mammogram. Um, the more fibroglandular tissue there is, the more white the mammogram appears. Cancers are white, and so they can be very difficult to separate from the background of the dense fibroglandular tissue. Is it related at all to breast size? No, not at all. Uh, dense breast tissue is primarily a genetic um, finding. Younger women have dense breast tissue than older women. As women grow older, the dense fibroglandular tissue regresses over time in most women. But in younger women, it, th there is more dense fibroglandular tissue. It can be influenced by drugs, um, obviously hormone replacement therapy. Other supplemental and over-the-counter drugs such as caffeine can increase breast density. You touched on this, but let's, let's color it up a little bit. Why is it important with women with dense breast tissue to have access to the right kind of diagnostic testing? Well, because dense breast tissue um, is a very di much of a diagnostic challenge for us trying to detect small, early, curable cancers when they're superimposed upon a dense fibroglandular background. The analogy is sort of like a small cloud against a bright blue sky. It's easy to see if you superimpose that small cloud over an overcast cloudy sky, you may not see it at all. And so these different modalities allow us to detect breast cancers that we might not otherwise see. Why is ABUS exceptional? ABUS is, is independent of the technologist, doesn't require a technologist to do handheld so, so that it's not technology dependent. Um, it uses only mild compression, but it gives us reproducible images of the entire breast so that we can do it again next year and compare. Um, it, it does not depend on someone missing something because an area wasn't scanned. It includes the whole breast. Uh, it does not require any contrast or ionizing radiation. So it's, it's a simple, safe, quick way to be able to visualize breast tissue. You've been a radiologist for quite a while. You've seen breakthroughs in technology. Why does this particular piece of equipment stand out? Well, when I first saw it, I thought it had great promise, and, and I investigated the possibility of having it here. We've, we've had 3D ultrasound here in the past. didn't work out too well because of technical difficulties. This particular equipment uh, has stood the test of time. It's, it's been used in a lot of um, studies to prove that it is reproducible and uh, it, it's, it's picked up a lot of breast cancers that weren't seen otherwise. And the important thing about that too is the breast cancers that Avis appears to pick up more than other technologies are small invasive cancers. Those are the ones that we want to find. Those are the ones that can have great mortality and morbidity down the road. If we can find them when they're 
less than a sub less than a centimeter in size, then the chances of cure or management is much greater. You segue nicely into this next question. For women who do have dense breast tissue, and particularly a history of breast cancer in their family, what does Avis offer them and what does it offer you, the physician? Well, their risk is higher because of their genetic history, their family history. Their risk is also higher because dense breast tissue itself is an independent risk factor for breast cancer. There are estimates of up to four to six times lifetime risk of breast cancer in women with dense breast tissue. It makes sense because that is the tissue that produces cancers. Uh, the more dense, the more likely there is to develop a breast cancer and the less likely we are to see it. ABUS is just another adjunctive method to allow us to pick up on those cancers. Woman with dense breast tissue, when should she start getting mammograms and other testing? Is it earlier than normal guidelines for other women? No, not really, and you don't know that you have dense breast tissue until you have your first mammogram. So it, it, it really doesn't, doesn't make a big difference in terms of when we screen or at what age. And we here at UT have a consensus that, that, that recommending we follow the American Cancer, rather the American College of Radiology and the Society of Breast Imaging uh, recommendations to start at age 40 and continue and with yearly mammograms and, and as long as you stay healthy. Now, that may change with women with, with, with family histories. A mother, a patient has a mother who has breast cancer at an early age, then that changes when we recommend the initiation of screening. Should all women who have dense, dense breast tissue seek out testing and technology such as ABUS, and it, how do they get more information about it? The best place for information is at our website, uthealth.org. Um, we recommend that they, they discuss this issue with their clinician, their primary care provider. Um, all women with dense breast tissue shouldn't necessarily have additional imaging. It's just something that may be appropriate in a, appropriate in a subset of those women, particularly with family histories, particularly with extremely dense breasts. There, there, there are variations of dense breast tissue. Some are more or worse than others, and um, so those women may benefit more directly from it. Very well. Doctor, I learned a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you.